coming up next, the men's quarterfinals. Same distance, 500 metres. And uh, the lineup for the first pairing in lane one, it's Maurizio Carnino. The uh, winner of the gold medal in the 5,000 metre relay in the European Championships. In lane two, Rusty Smith for America in three. Mark Gagnon, the uh, leader at the moment, but uh, not looking so good here in this uh, opening of this 500 meters and in four it's Takafumi Nishitani of Japan down in third place Gagnon makes his move up the inside now Mark Gagnon for Canada up into third place still out in front it's uh, Carnino for Italy Gagnon making a move around the outside lap and a half to go now Gagnon pushing hard into the final lap Gagnon Cuts back inside, and look what a fantastic move from the Canadian. Gagnon straight out in front. Mark Gagnon, winner of the 1500 metres, the opening round of this World Short Track Speed Skating Championships, with a brilliant move on that final lap, safely into first place in this quarterfinals. Superb skating. He's in the form of his life here in uh, Junju City, in the Republic of Korea. Keeping out of trouble at the start. And uh, just letting the race unfold, Mark Gagnon makes his move and uh, takes Nishitani through with him, but uh, Nishitani couldn't keep the momentum going. And Gagnon, a rusty smith of the USA, I think it is, that uh, make it through into the semi-finals. We wait for confirmation of that. Four heats here. Again, a good crowd in this ice arena to watch this championships. So uh, a little bit of time getting the results out could be uh, an infringement. We're hearing that uh, perhaps the Olympic gold medalist indeed. Takafumi Nishitani disqualified for Japan. So Mark Gagnon and Rusty Smith of the USA go through into the next round. Heat number two. And uh, British interest here, Nikki Gooch in lane four on the outside. Bit of a full start there. The start's so important. We know that in lane one. Ru Yong Min, second in the 1500 meters for Korea. In lane two, it's Daniel Weinstein of the USA. In three, Yu Long An for China. And in four, Nikki Gooch for Great Britain. Bronze medalist in the European Championships this year. Didn't make it through into the finals of the 1500 meters, but uh, hoping to do better here and make it uh, into the semis. Not a good start from Nicky on that outside. A very, very fast start, though, in this race. The American out in front. Daniel looking very, very strong indeed. Yulong An in second place. Then it's Min for Korea with Nicky Gooch at the back at the moment. A couple of laps to go now. And uh, Gooch makes a move up into third place. Has he got the strength now to reel in the uh, two skaters in front? Needs to get into second place to make it through into the next round of this 500 metres. He's left himself with too much to do. He's not going to make it. And uh, Nicky Gooch in third place there. A punch in the air from uh, Daniel Weinstein of the USA, who wins that quarterfinal. Yulong An for China in second place. They're the two qualifiers, and it was a blistering start. Nicky Gooch a little slow off the line there, but uh, perhaps a tactic was to stay out of trouble, left himself with just a little too much to do on that final lap. Got up into third, but uh, it was the second place that he wanted. Uh, loads of fans here to support the skaters. Good to see. And uh, creating a good atmosphere for this World Championships. There's confirmation. The American, 
goes through with Yulong and for China. Disappointment again for Nikki Gooch. Third place in this quarterfinals. So on to heat number three. Gilmet of Canada. In lane one, then Bruno Loscos in two. Kai Feng in three, Satoru Toreu in four. So here we go then. One heat to go after this one and uh, Jonathan Gilmet for Canada, it is out in front. Kai Feng looking for a way through in second place. Indeed, he's up there. It's uh, lost cost for France in third place at the moment. And uh, Toreo just uh, nipping inside him now up into third. Lost cost very wide out of that curve. And uh, out of contention, lost a lot of ground there. Gilmet still for Canada out in front. Feng for China in third. Toreo looking for a way through. And uh, just seemed to misread the race there. Toreu, who uh, seemed to lunge for the line at the uh, bell. But uh, applause for Jonathan Gilmet for Canada. He goes through along with Kai Feng, the uh, winner of a gold medal in the World Championships last year in the relay. Here's a look at the start again as Gagnon gets uh, right out in front. Lost cost, the European champion going with him, but uh, losing a lot of ground. And uh, China's Kai Feng just making sure of that second place, that qualification place as he crosses the line. And disappointment for Toreo of Japan. No place for him in the semi-finals and the European champion out as well. So uh, one more heat to go. Sung for Korea, Yugo of Japan, Beda of Canada, and Jay Wan Li of China in fourth place. Lee. Ready to go. Bernard of Canada there in lane number three Ready? safety away first time so powerful Bada number 68 a big roar going up for Lee and uh, Bada hanging on to first place Lee for China making a move through on the inside. The Korean in third place and a change of the lead there. But I made a mistake and uh, that opened the door for Lee. Second place is important with two laps to go. But are still in second place. Lee for China leading. The Korean in second place. And uh, Japan Shohara at the back of the moment. One lap to go now. But are still in second place. It'll be a battle for the line. Half a lap into the final curve. But are looking for a way through. It's going to be close for the finish. Goodness me. Well, who got that second place? Very, very difficult to tell. Lee for China. Cross the line in first place. Here's a look at the start again. Bedar seemed a bit quick off the gun, but uh, wasn't called back quickly into the lane. Lee dictating the pace of the race. And, uh, well, so close at the finish. Be good to see that again. A real battle between the uh, Korean and the man from Japan. So uh, we wait for confirmation of that. Don't know what the situation was, and uh, it's Yi Kwan Lee for China who wins, and uh, Shinohara of Japan in second place. Bada in third. 
literally nothing between them. And uh, look at that, Bedar just uh, a couple of inches behind Shinohara. So uh, Shinohara and Lee through to the semi-finals. On the frozen locks of Scotland, the birthplace of an ancient sport developed. Semi-finals. The uh, women's 500 metres. That's the uh, line-up for the first heat. Kraus for Canada, Wang for China, then Danilov for Israel, and Radanova of Bulgaria. Danilov, you remember, uh, making it through by the skin of her teeth. 